Welcome to Medical Discovery News. I'm Dr. Norbert Herzog. And I'm Dr. David Niesel. It's always fascinating to trace evolution shaped by disease. A recent study traced the sickle cell mutation to one child thousands of years ago that helped her survive malaria and pass along this mutation across the globe. In sickle cell, the red blood cell is misshapen so that it has a difficult time passing through small blood vessels. There are five genetic versions or haplotypes of the sickle cell gene around the world. Scientists wanted to know how they arose and came up with two explanations. One is the multicentric model, which suggests that five independent events in different regions happened that led to the same mutation. The second model believes a single event gave rise to the hemoglobin S mutation, which is responsible for sickle cell disease. And then later changes around that mutation in different populations generated the five different haplotypes. To determine which of these two models is correct, scientists characterized the sickle cell genes in the genomes of 2,500 people from the Thousand Genomes Project, 300 people from the African Genome Variation Project, and 100 from Qatar. The result pointed to one mutation 7,300 years ago. Eventually, that mutation branched into a form that gave rise to the haplotypes in the Central African Republic, Cameroon, Saudi Arabia, and India. Further changes to this haplotype produce a subcluster in Senegal, and more changes created a Senegal and Benin haplotype. So the second model appears to be how sickle cell originated and evolved, all from a single child and thus changing the world. We are Drs. David Niesel and Norbert Herzog at the University of Texas Medical Branch and the Frank H. Netter School of Medicine at Quinnipiac University, where biomedical discovery shaped the future of medicine. For much more and our disclaimer, go to medicaldiscoverynews.com.